Hi, and thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to look at adding GIS data to your Infoworks 360 model. GIS data can add another level of detail beyond what Model Builder can, so you really are designing in context. First, I'm going to look at my GIS data in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Civil 3D lets me dig into the data behind the data, the metadata. So first, I will drag that shape file, SHP file, directly into my AutoCAD Civil 3D window, where I can then see all of the polygons, all of the shapes that represent the building footprints in this case. To understand the data behind the data, I simply select one of those building footprints, right click and select Show Data Table. This shows me all of the additional information that's available about that shape. In this case, because I'm looking at buildings, I'm really interested in this column titled Max Height. I'm going to use that data to drive the appearance of my buildings when I bring this shape file into Infoworks 360. There's always lots of data behind GIS, and using it in Civil 3D lets you take a look at that data table so you can fully understand what is available. The second piece of data I'm going to look at is a planning file from the zoning department. And it's the same idea. Simply select one of the shapes, right click, select show data table. And here I can see the columns that are associated with the zoning GIS information. In this case, zoning underscore ZTY is the column that I'm going to use when I jump into Infoworks 360. Now I'm in Infoworks 360, and let's take a look at that same data visualized in the 3D world. So let's start with the planning, the zoning map, and simply drag and drop that into the model, and you'll be presented with the data source configuration. Now, I'm going to set this up as a coverage area, essentially flat draped polygons, and tell Infoworks 360 to use that zoning ZTY column as the description of the polygon inside of Infoworks 360. The data will process and you'll see not a lot changes right off the bat. But when we zoom in on these areas and we start moving the mouse around, you'll see that the zoning shapes, the, the zoning areas now highlight, they sort of pop a little bit of a different color when you mouse over them. If we select one of these polygons, you'll see at the bottom of the asset card a description area, and there is that zoning description, in this case, DMU. Now let's take a look at the building footprints. Same idea, drag and drop, but this time configure that data layer as a collection of buildings instead of coverages. Pretty simple, straightforward. I'll use the max height metadata to drive the roof height of the Infoworks 360 building. Click close and refresh. And now this will take a little bit longer because I'm processing somewhere close to 400,000 buildings in the city of Austin. But when it's done, I'll get what I refer to as the monopoly view of Austin, where each of those building footprints has been assigned to the ground and then extruded to the level of that maximum height inside of Infoworks. With GIS data, you can add richness to any Infoworks 360 model. And you can really get a sense of context, of place, and show information in new ways that makes it easier than ever to communicate. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the Infoworks 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and infra tips where you can learn more ways to make Infoworks 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.